Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly, and Happy New Year! I like to start the year with the Belly Dance Practice Outfit series, but this year is a bit different and special because I'm pregnant. So I made this cute two-piece practice outfit that's maternity friendly and will make your lessons even more fun. Of course, you can enjoy it when you're not pregnant too. Today, I'll show you how to create this comfy bat wing crop top. Let's get started. To make this bat wing crop top, you need about one meter or one yard of stretch fabric. I recommend lightweight stretch fabric for this top. Less than one meter, one yard of two and a half centimeter or one inch wide elastic, a t-shirt to use as a pattern, and matching color thread. First, put on your t-shirt and see where your underbus line is. Mark it with a pin or a safety pin. And around the end of the sleeves, measure the circumference of your arm. If you want longer sleeves than your t-shirt, let's say 10 centimeters or 4 inches longer, then measure the circumference of your arm at that point. Next, place your fabric on the flat surface and see which direction it stretches. If it is 4-way stretch fabric, that's great. Just check which direction it stretches better. Then fold your fabric right sides together. Place your t-shirt on top of the fabric and make sure the direction of stretch you checked earlier is parallel to the width of your t-shirt. And fold up your t-shirt at the pin. Now trace the t-shirt's outline. I made my neckline a bit wider than my t-shirt to make it a boat neck style. I marked the ends about 3 cm or 1.25 inches away from the original neckline and follow the front side of the t-shirt for the depth of the neckline to make it a little looser fit. Around the shoulder seams, make the lines flatter and smoother so there's no sharp corners. You can simply trace the sleeves, but I made mine about 10 cm or 4 inches longer. Then at the bottom end of the sleeve, trace the line parallel to the sleeve and mark half of your arm measurement minus 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the top of the line. Then keep the width of the sleeve the same about 2 cm or 3 quarter inch from the end. Then connect it to the folded end of the t-shirt with a curved line like this. Repeat the steps on the other side of the shirt. trace the folded end of the shirt and now extend the bottom end by 5 cm or 2 inches. This is a seam allowance plus extra to give the shirt a little more room. At this point, check to see if the shape looks more or less symmetrical. If it is, let's start cutting. Cut out the panels while adding a 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance except for the bottom edge. Once the panels are cut, measure the length of the neckline. Cut a narrow strip that's 4 cm or 1.5 inches wide, and the length is double the neckline measurement plus 5 cm or 2 inches. Alright, let's start sewing. Keep the panels right sides together and first do a zigzag stitch along one of the shoulder seams with a 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Then open up the panels right side up. Take the long strip and fold it wrong sides together lengthwise. Place the raw edges of the strip against the edge of the neckline like this right sides together. And do a zigzag stitch with a 5mm or a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Trim the excess strip and match the shoulder seam. Flip the strip out so you can match the ends of the strip as well. And do a zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Turn the strip towards the wrong side like this. And make sure the seam is right at the fold or slightly towards the wrong side so it won't show from the right side. And do a straight stitch right next to the edge of the strip. Now the neckline is finished neatly. Next, match up the size and do a zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Then at the ends of the sleeves, fold 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the edges and do a zigzag stitch. 
Now cut your elastic into length that's nice and snug around the under bust line plus two and a half centimeters or one inch. Overlap the ends by two and a half centimeters or one inch and sew the ends together. And quarter mark this elastic. Quarter marking is easy. Simply fold the elastic and mark the folds. And match up the marks and mark the new folds. Now you have four equally distributed marks on the elastic. And quarter mark the bottom end of the shirt. We can use side seams as two marks, so fold the shirt in half to find the midway points. Now it's quarter marked. Turn your shirt right side out and place the elastic on the wrong side of the shirt. And match up the edges and the quarter marks. And do a zigzag stitch along the edges. The shirt and elastic are slightly different lengths, so pull the layers to match the lengths as you sew. Looks like this. Now flip the elastic part towards the wrong side to encase the elastic. And do a zigzag stitch along the raw edge of the shirt while pulling the layers for a neat finish. And your batwing crop top is complete! It's comfy and a great alternative to a plain t-shirt to wear to your dance lessons. And next week, I'll show you how I made this matching high-waisted hip scarf. Now that I've got a baby bump going, I made this adjustable in size and it's great for maternity or regular practice outfit. If you're curious, make sure to subscribe to my channel and sign up for my newsletter at sparklybelly.com. Also, if you're curious about these lace pants I'm wearing here, I have good news. These comfy custom-made pants are what I'm going to be teaching in my upcoming course. If you always struggle to find flared pants that are not too long, not too short, and fit you well, this course is for you. I'm doing a pre-sale of this course next Friday. The pre-sale is only available to my newsletter subscribers, so be sure to sign up at sparklybelly.com or from the link in the description. Hope you like this DIY batwing crop top tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. And if you want to make more belly dance costuming bits, join my free course Belly Dance Costume Making 101 at sparklybelly.com slash free course. You'll get lots of beginner friendly tutorials in this course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!